yeah, we're going to go out and uh, stretch a stride, give them some uh, stuff to look at on Vandy, but we're not going to treat it like as if it was a Sunday. Sunday's their day off, so we can't give them a day off. We're going to go out and do some stuff, but we're not going to do a Monday typical practice. We'll get helmets and we'll do some walkthroughs. And then the rest of the week will be kind of kind of old. How big was Marshall Wong for you guys then? I don't know. You tell me. I thought he did a good job, and I was just, I was about ready to go after him on that one pooch. He, I think he kicked it straight up in the air, but I don't even know what his average was. What was it? 38 and a half. I knew he hit two or three, and he kicked them away from their guy, you know, which, I mean, they had a new guy back there, and a couple of those punts were rolls where their guy didn't field it. So they'd probably argue they should have called him and say 30 or 40 yards field position, but he did get some rollouts. I think he pinned, what, two inside of 10, maybe? Yeah, three. Three inside of 10. That's huge. I know a couple of them were on rolls, and we practiced that. Dom did a nice job down in one. I know. I think me Cole got the other. How bad was it that you feel? Did the wind have effect of the pass? Oh, yeah. The, the throwing game at all? I think it did. Yeah. I can't 100% verify that, but before the game, we thought it would have an effect, which we came out and tried to run it and not have to throw it. I know it affected several of their balls, but obviously they threw it better than we did, so it's easy for me to say that we affected it, but I certainly think, yeah, I thought the ball that Malcolm picked up, picked off, hung up on that kid. So how confident did you feel about the, the running? You've been able to run out of the formations you ran out of a lot of pro-style power sets. Uh, being able to have that success coming in. I didn't know. Yeah, I don't think you ever know. These kids nowadays, you don't know what state of mind they're coming into the game with. I mean, you can just look at our weights, their weights, how big are they, where are they in rushing defense, where are we in rushing offense. It don't matter. I mean, it's, it's who sets their jaw right It's going to knock them back and believe they're going to be able to run it. And, you know, having Nick, that suits Nick a lot better. You know, I thought Sony had probably one of the best runs I've ever seen. They had two guys unblocked. He makes a miss and almost scores. And then we score, you know, three plays later. So, you know, those backs are special, and um, they make you good coaches. How much better did you feel after that first uh, possession when you were able to start establishing that physicality and run the ball like you did on that very first uh, drive? Felt better than I did before the game. Yeah. You talked about the win with Jacob. Uh, Jacob had a few balls sail on him. Did he ever say anything to you about the no. ball? I, I didn't go ask him. We tried not to bring it up to make it an issue. I don't, Jim may have talked to him about it throughout the game. I didn't. Um, I don't like confronting him or getting, I don't like thinking about that. I don't think about executing. You know, there's probably some other passes that would be easier, but. Hey, we had we had a shot. We had another shot that Jim had a great call. It's wide open to Terry. We miss it. You know, it's just it's frustrating. We've had a lot of what we call the ups that we missed. If we hit those, everybody's talking about how good our passing game is, but we missed. It, it was fourteen nothing at halftime, but there was sort of a, a lot of people trying to sense that you guys could have been way ahead, not just. Too yeah, strong. I sensed that. I mean, I felt like we, we left one out there right there at the end, the long run. We get the penalty on, and then the the, the ending of the thing, not not being able to use a timeout time, all that frustrates you. You know, yeah, we, we really challenged the kids at halftime to go out and make it about running the ball. Just, just try to be dominant. Were you, you guys surprised they went games. fourth the whole way? See, I'm sorry. Were you surprised they went with fourth the whole way? They didn't. We thought they might change it up at halftime, but, you know, hey, that kid gives them a chance to throw the ball. They're two weapons. We're back at wide out. Those wide outs are going to be a good player. I mean, 89's going to be a good player for a long time. And um, so is number one. He's a good player now. So I think he opened it up and allowed them to do more things. Just three straight games where you, at least results-wise, you guys have improved on the ground. Do you feel like the offensive line maybe gelling a little bit and clicking, maybe playing a little bit better than they were the previous two, three games? I hope so. It had to be really good that you saw the last two minutes of the game, your team really pushing, Terry finding the end zone. What does it say about this team that they were able to keep pushing all the way through the fourth quarter? They're never going to stop fighting. I mean, look, let's be honest. There's no team in the SEC that's going to stop fighting. I mean, we got a resilient group that fights and fights. The way it is, we got to fight harder than them. And I really believe that this was the first week of practice that I had sophomores telling guys to run off the field between sets. I had sophomores saying things. They've never done that. And I was almost taken aback. And it, it, it made me feel better, win or lose, about where we're headed. How do you think Nick's handled this year, given that he had the whole offseason to try to come back and then he's had some – Ups and downs once the season started. How do you think he's handled? It? Right. I, mean, I think Nick's a leader. Nick was challenging guys in there at halftime to, to run the ball. Nick was happy that it was windy. Yeah. <laughs> Are you happy with your pass rush? <sighs> no, I'm not happy with our pass rush. We got a long way to go to affect the quarterback. Now, you're going to argue we had five sacks. I'm going to say three of them were probably in the last drive, you know, two of them earlier. Look, we we got to be able to pass, rush the pass better and affect the quarterback better without having the pressure with five six guys. And we got to improve in that area. Am I glad they had better statistics? Yes, those guys are working hard. But we 
you've got to affect the quarterback with four guys better because we'll, we'll play teams that got probably better 